Hello guys, and today in our video we will speak about two things that the people are getting confused between them all the time, which are the horizontal and the vertical. So all of us we know that horizontal it's going by the width and the vertical is going by the height. And we are using to the both of those values using the orientation. So if I want something to be in my window in the horizontal way, we use it by the orientation. And if I want the orientation to be vertical, so I use the orientation as well. So uh, right here we have for the vertical, we are using the X, the right and center X. But for the Y or for the horizontal, we are using the Y, we are using the center Y and we are using top. So the Y will be in the bottom, the center Y will be in the middle and the top will be of course on the top. So let's check this out. So at the beginning we find that every window is divided into pieces. So those pieces that every window is starts from X and Y. So every window when I put a size or I put a position, so I start from X and Y. So all the values in the window that we are using according to the size or according to the position, it's starting from X and Y. So the vertical is using the X and the horizontal is using the Y. So the vertical is using the X, the center X and the right. And for the horizontal we are using the Y and the center Y and the top. So if I'm creating a button and I'm putting it inside the window, so we are using the X, the center X and the right if I want it to be vertical. But if I want it to be horizontal, so I will use the Y, the center Y and the top. So let's apply this on the window and let's check it out. So at the beginning for the vertical you will find that these are my buttons and this is the line of my button. So those are the lines of my button from the right and the left. So according to the, to the vertical orientation we are using the X and the center X and the right. But for the horizontal it's the opposite. So we are using the Y, the center Y and the top. So guys this is the difference between the vertical and the horizontal. So for the vertical again it's about X, center X and right. And for the horizontal, we are using the Y, the center Y, and the top. So guys, I don't want you to think that it's complicated or something, because the more you practice, the more you will find it that it's getting easier and easier. And in the next video, we will learn more about the horizontal and about the vertical orientations, and you will find that it's getting so easy. So just know about the rule, and uh, the rule will make everything easy for you. The more you practice, the more you will find that everything is getting easier. I hope that you like the video, guys, and see you in the next video.